Hola estudiantes. Hello students. My name is Carolina Hinojosa Cisneros. I'm a Tejana Chicana Mujerista poet from San Antonio, Texas. I wrote Becoming Costoto poems by Carolina Hinojosa Cisneros. I am a graduate student at Our Lady of the Lake University and I'm here to hopefully inspire you to create some poems. I want to encourage you with a couple of sentences from one of my favorite writers, uh, Gloria Anzaldúa. She's a theorist, a writer, and also a poet. And she wrote in hybrid form, so she never stuck to what exactly a poem looked like. Um, she always had this sort of hybridity, which means that she combined different ways of writing into a poem, uh, and I really enjoy her work. I call my sp myself a spiritual activist because I think that making art is something holy. She says, coming to terms with spirit means bringing yourself into harmony with the world within and around you. The artist uses the imagination to impose order on chaos. And then she guides us into our art is our mission, a lifetime task of teaching tolerance and respect for the earth and the people of the earth, of making bridges. As artists, we are bridges. As writers, we are bridges. Our work is spiritual, and we try to make sure that what we put out in the world, world is true to our deepest convictions. And so with that being said, I hope that it encourages you in some way to think of yourself as a bridge in this world as you write or pin down a poem. Um, and it doesn't have to be a particular form. It could be a hybridity, uh, different ways that you use your imagination because that's spirit work. Ariana Brown says, nothing is more sacred than you. So what you produce is sacred. It becomes a bridge. So I have a couple of prompts for you. If you want to get started writing a poem, just write out your thoughts. Poems usually look like short sentences with line breaks, but that's not always so. There's also free verse poem um, where you, it could be a stream of consciousness or just writing out your thoughts and getting them down on paper. So I want to ask you a couple of questions and maybe you can pin out your answers. If peace were a room in your house, what room would it be? If peace were a way of moving, what would it do? Would it walk, run, skip, leap? Where in your body is most sensitive to feelings of peace. How do you experience peace in your body? And for me, um, I experience the most peace when I'm speaking or when I'm listening. So for me, my ears are where I feel the peace and what comes in um, and how I translate that into what I write down. So I hope this motivates you in some way. And I also want you to accept your imperfections, whatever you write down, because like life, art is a work in progress. I'll leave you with one of my poems, very short. And it's called Becoming. Very short. Ah. Costoto. Como pájara alumbrada, salgo de tu pecho roto. Gracias, spiritual activists. I hope this inspires you to write a poem. Um, and thank you to your wonderful teacher. He is so amazing. Thank you for reaching out. Que tengan un buen día. Paz.